Hi, I'm Katrina from The Gorgeous Geeks, and I'm here to bring you your geekly news. We missed a week, so we got a couple more stories for you. Move over, Harry Potter, because Captain America has arrived. Harry Potter Deathly Hallows Part 2 had record-breaking numbers last weekend, but instead of going to see it a second time, fans decided to see Captain America instead, causing a 72% fall from last weekend. Captain America, the first Avenger, has taken the box office lead in superhero movies for this year of 2011. Thor comes at a close second for opening weekends, then X-Men First Class, and then last is Green Lantern. Fox is adding a new cartoon to its animation domination family. The Simpsons and the Family Guy are going to have to make room for Napoleon Dynamite. That's right, you will be able to see the popular 2004 movie in cartoon form. The best part about it is the entire cast cast of the movie will be doing the voiceovers for the cartoon as well. Joe Quesada, CCO of Marvel, says that he hopes that DC's supposed reboot works. He told Comic Book Resources that if DC can get people in the stores, then it'll be great for everyone. He jokingly also mentioned that Marvel would still kick their butts in sales, but he hopes that they do great. And the black actors of the world are still all fighting for the Luke Cage spot. At the Ghost Rider panel at Comic-Con, Idris Elba expressed his desire on playing Luke Cage. Michael J. White, who we all know from Spawn, said he would love to return to the role of Spawn if the movie is done right. He said that the movie needs to go darker and needs to be rated R. Have you guessed who the new villain in Wolverine 2 is going to be? Well, I'm about to spoil it for you. Wolverine will be fighting Silver Samurai. The movie will be taking place in Japan and it will be very interesting to see if any other characters from that area will be popping up. Are you a big Deadpool fan? Well, you should head over to SuperheroStuff.com to get the latest Deadpool t-shirts that are available for men and women. They have one of him thinking about tacos. Were you pumped to see the Zack Snyder Superman movie next year? Well, I'm sorry to inform you that it's going to be pushed back and will not be released until the summer of 2013. Are you a fan of Sailor Moon? Well, there will be two new mangas released in the U.S. in September. One titled Sailor Moon and the other titled Codename Sailor V. If you are pumped about the Tim Burton remake of the 60's vampire soap opera Dark Shadows and can't wait till May of 2012 to see Johnny Depp as a vampire, well you might be able to calm yourself while reading the Dark Shadow comic book. Written by Stuart Manning and drawn by Aaron Campbell, the retelling of the classic series will be released in October. What does Lego, Marvel, and DC Comics have in common? Mini figurines! The three different companies are coming together to start a new line called Lego Superheroes. Have you heard about the famous breakup of a certain famous couple? If you think I'm talking about Jennifer Lopez and Mark Anthony, think again. I'm talking about one of the most famous couples of all time, Clark Kent and Lois Lane. In DC's new relaunch, they are not together. Lois is with someone else and Superman might actually be having something with Wonder Woman. Have you ever gotten an emergency text? Well, hopefully you'll never get this text. There is a new smoke detector that sends you a text message when it goes off. When these alarms send smoke, it can send text messages to four different phones. You can go to firetext.me to purchase one. And now for our Hero and Villain segment. <laughs> Last time I asked you to give a name to the woman that tried to break her boyfriend out of prison by stuffing him in a suitcase. My favorite name for that villain was given by YouTube user Trips one and the name was The Bag Hag. And now for this week's. In Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, a 42-year-old thief by the name of Vaughn Matthews probably thought mugging 28-year-old Lindsay O'Brien would go a lot smoother, but he was wrong. This three-month pregnant woman would not play the role of a victim. Matthews came up to her, punched her in the forehead, and grabbed her bag, which contained a laptop. But O'Brien would not let him get away. She went after him, grabbed her bag, and then Matthews turned and grabbed her wrist, breaking it in the process. And then he punched the obviously pregnant woman in the stomach, but she retaliated and used her three and a half year kickbox training 
to deliver him a blow that broke his leg in two places. She retrieved her bag and then the officers came to the scene and took Matthews who was screaming in pain and arrested him. After being checked out by the hospital, O'Brien says her baby is fine and she looks forward to the day where she can testify in court against him. And just like last week, go ahead and post a comment naming the 28 year old pregnant woman that stood up to her mugger and I will say my favorite name on the next hero and villain segment. And now for our YouTube Spotlight. We are showing a very popular fan made movie trailer of the Thundercats by YouTube user Warmy T. This is the mystic sword of Omens and the source of our powers, the Eye of Thunder. The nobles gathered here, Panthro, Chitara, Tigra, will be teaching the skills you need to rule wisely and well. Thundera is gone, but the code of Thundera will live as long as you, as Lord of the Thundercats, carry it in your heart. Lord Lionel spent ten Galacto years in a suspension capsule. He grew in size, but he did not grow up. I'm not a kid anymore. No, I wasn't going to like this. Can we stand together? Are you with me? Let no man forget how menacing we are. We are lions! Thunder! 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 Thundercats! And that was our Geekly News. Go ahead and tweet us on Twitter if you have any suggestions for our YouTube Spotlight. I'm Katrina, saying goodbye.